Hello everybody, my name is Python and welcome back to Python's Realm. We are on the 37th episode today my friends and I thought that the time has come. We are about to make ourselves the ultimate in mining accessories. That is right my friends, I am indeed talking about the drill containment unit. That is right, it is about that time. I have myself 40 meteorite bars, 40 chlorophyte. We also need spectre bars. We need ourselves, uh, oh, what are those, shroomite bars. We need ourselves hellstone bars. And as far as I can remember, I think that's it. It's six types of bars, so one, two, three. And then Spectre, and then Shroomite, and maybe I'm missing out one set of bars. I have no idea. But anyways, guys, we are here today. And thank you so much once again for the support you have been shown for this series. Super, super appreciated as per the normal. I hope you guys are incre uh, enjoying the increased frequency of these here episodes as well. Because, uh, yeah, I'm having fun <laughs> because the... The way that I'm now playing it is I'm trying to play this on a daily basis and uh, by doing that I can remember or more easily remember just exactly what is going on on the world at any time, you know, that's just that's just how it is. When you've got just one world to play on, you can remember everything that's going on inside of it and it's pretty freaking sweet. It's a good way to do it in my opinion. So uh, yeah, anyways, uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, do a little bit of this. I'm going to place this little sucker down right here. Alright, so now we need to go ahead and grab ourselves a whole bunch more chlorophyte bars. And I've already done the calculations, we need 69 bars, multiply that by 6, gives us 414. That is our target, my friends. We are going to try and get ourselves 414 chlorophyte ore. And as you can see, most of the jungle has indeed been explored, but... Well, see if we can do it anyway. I mean, it's not like we don't have a lot of Spelunker potions or anything. We've got eight of them, which means a grand total of 40 minutes of Spelunking time. Ooh, that's freaking awesome. All right, guys. So here we go, my friends. We're going to head down to the underground jungle. We're going to get ourselves a heck ton of chlorophyll. Let's get it done, folks. And also, I need to get myself mushrooms because, yeah, we, we need that as well. Yeah. And here we are, folks. I'm going to start chucking away these fallen stars. I just don't need them. But, uh, yeah, we've got ourselves Spelunker potions. Let's get those little babies activated. Let's see about getting ourselves a heck ton of chlorophyte, huh? There's plenty of life roots about, but we just outright don't need them anymore. So I'm not even going to bother trying to get them. Because, well, like I said, just don't need them. So, uh, yeah, here we go. Got a little bit down here. Like I said, 414 is going to be our target. But if we wind up having some Spelunker Potion effects still on us, then we'll go until the Spelunker Potion runs out. Now, some of you guys may be thinking, well, Python, why are you going for the Drill Containment Unit right now? Well, if you look at my mini-map, there is quite a lengthy amount. There's quite a high amount of uh, corruption in this world, basically. And what I want to do is I want to use the drill containment unit to essentially splice this entire world into two halves. We've got the top half, we've got the bottom half. The bottom half, I'm not entirely, you know, fussed about being corrupted or hallowified. But the top half, I want to, you know, maybe make some custom biomes. Uh, maybe clean up some of the biomes as well. I think that'd be a cool idea. Uh, you know, just to just so we have some of our proper world back, you know. Because uh, we've really been neglecting, you know, looking after our world and terms of, you know, dispensing the corruption and, uh, you know, cleansing the hallow, all that kind of stuff. So that is where the drill containment unit is going to come into effect. Because like I said, I'm going to splice the world into a top half and a bottom half. Top half, we're going to make sure everything is all good. And then the bottom half, I'm really not entirely that fussed about. So here we go. Uh, we continue on with this thing, my friends. Like I said, 414 is the amount we need. It might be a good idea if we uh, keep track of it by doing that. And uh, yeah... Hopefully, we can get this thing done in a pretty short amount of time. We have a pixel, so it should absolutely breeze through everything. And especially when it comes to getting the drill containment unit, doing any mining from there on in is just going to be an absolute cakewalk. A walk in the park, folks. It's going to be insane. It, this would... I'm just trying to think. How many times have I actually crafted the uh, drill containment unit in the past? I think it might just be once. I think that might have been in my Python Place Terraria series, so this might just be my second only time crafting this thing. So, you know, bit of an achievement and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> awesome. Alright, so we've got 120. We're about a, well, about a third of the way there. We are looking good so far, folks. But, uh, you know, we've got to keep ourselves going here. Uh, maybe if I dig up or something, we'll get some more. What do you guys think? Although I think I might be going a little bit high. Yeah, I think we might be getting a little bit high to find uh, chlorophyte. So maybe if we start digging down, we'll have some better luck in finding some of that beautiful chlorophyte. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. There's a whole bunch down here. Well, I say a whole bunch and there's actually five. 
I thought this here was Claw and Fire, but it's not. It's Cobalt, isn't it? <laughs> Alright, well, uh, yeah. Well, you get the general gist of what I'm doing. I've already actually got the ectoplasm. I've got a heck ton of ectoplasm, in fact. Uh, before I started this episode, I had 64 in my hard mode chest. I can't even remember why I wound up with that many. For some reason... Oh, that's right. I think I was going to make Spectre armor at some point, and I just haven't managed to get around to it because I haven't needed it. Because my warrior set has just been badassing everything. So, yeah. Oh, well, doesn't matter. We've still got a massive surplus of it, so yeah, might as well use it for something else. Something that we might actually wind up using. In other words, the dual containment unit, so yeah. Anyways, I'm going to continue on with this, folks, and uh, I'm going to do a jump cut real quick, and I'll bring you guys back once we have the required amount of chlorophyte. What? Check it out, guys. I just randomly came across this tree chest, and it's got seaweed. Someone's a pet turtle. <laughs> Well, that's something I haven't seen uh, a whole bunch of previously. Jeez, man, I might as well take it. I mean, there's no reason not to, right? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take all the rest of this stuff as well. Always worth taking boss summons in case you want to do some sort of majorly bad... Oh, hello. Hi. Hi. Thank you so much for the random free 10 gold. <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> No complaints from me whatsoever. So as you can see, I'm not actually using a Spelunker potion anymore. Because I'm so close to my goal, I decided that uh, maybe what we should just do instead is use our Solar Eruption as a way of spotting the owls. Because as you can see, it just goes through walls and it provides a whole crap ton of light as a result of doing that. So, you know, say for example, we got a little bit below us. We've got a little bit right here as well. Okay, cool. So like I said, 414 is the amount. Uh, 406... Okay, there's a little bit down here too. All right, and again, let's use this just to try and identify some more. All right, down there. All right, and that's going to be the last of it. 414 chlorophyte. Or oh, just a tiny smidge over. Awesome! Yeah, boys. All right, let's get out of here. We're pretty much done with that place. Awesome, folks. I'm feeling pretty good about that. Okay, so, uh, Titanium Forge. It's going to be back at our original tree base, isn't it? We should make some more furniture sets and put them in each of the bases that we're going to create, like a Titanium Forge at each one. Uh, you know, just, just like a basic furniture set, what that kind of stuff. Functional furniture set, should I say? So, yeah. Anyways, uh, let's make our way back to the tree base and let's see about uh, making our a whole bunch of awesome stuff. So, get it? Awesome stuff. Alls. Ah, I'm so funny. I'm really not, let's be honest. Okay, so here we go. Uh, we made it back, and here we go. Let's get ourselves a crap ton of this. Uh, 69. Bang on the dot. Okay, so what we need to do is get up to the auto hammer, and yeah, yeah, auto hammer, and then we can make all the stuff that we need to. We need to get the spectre bars back out there because I quick stacked them away like a moron. So, here we go. Uh, 20 of them. We only need. 20 because uh, you get two spectre bars per time you craft it so yeah that's kind of awesome uh where, where do you craft it is it is it the uh, auto hammer or is it here uh oh it is here okay cool so there we go 40 of those 40 of those we need 40 meteor the other the thing i was missing out by the way was uh, luminite so we're gonna need to take down the moon all again anyway uh so that's totally fine we have a celestial sigil there which is awesome and, uh, yeah, everything else is looking pretty cool, I guess. So, let's make our way over to the thing. I do have myself a whole bunch more blue mushrooms in here. So, look at that. Nearly two stacks of the damn stuff. Holy! It's a whole crap done, isn't it? <laughs> awesome. All right, so, yeah, we're going to make ourselves some streamlight bars. And we're going to start stashing these things away. So, we can eventually make ourselves the dual containment unit. But, like I said, we need to take down the Moon Lord again. Maybe once, maybe a couple times. Which may involve going ahead and doing the pillars again. In fact, I will go ahead and involve doing the pillars again. Because, you know, that's just how it is. So, yeah. Alrighty, and at some point we're going to need to go mining for Hellstone as well. But uh, that should be an absolute cakewalk, right? I mean, come on. It's it's freaking Hellstone with a freaking pwn hammer. Not pwn hammer, with a pixel. It's just going to murk everything. <laughs> it's going to be amazing. Wait, what am I doing? The... I don't know why I just did that. The freaking thing is here. <laughs> um... Uh, so yeah, so what you guys are gonna do right now is you're gonna forget that I actually did that made my way over to that thing thinking the Auto hammer was over by the truffle. So yeah, you're gonna forget that I did that and we're gonna get on with that day, right? Yes Yes, we are. Yes, we are. We're gonna forget about it. You're not gonna flame me in the comments like a moron <laughs> Oh jeez, man. All right. Well, let's keep going folks. We're gonna go mine some Hellstone now. What time is it? It's Hellstone time. Time to pwn some bricks, ponage. Let's go, boys. All right, so I've got to be honest. I don't actually know how much hellstone I'm going to need, but I'm going to go ahead and say that 
I don't know, maybe 200 is going to be enough. So let's maybe go for 200. This is going to be an absolute cakewalk. Look at how quickly it's mining through the hellstone, dudes. <laughs> it's just poning everything. It's amazing. Man, I love the pixel. I do, of course, know that there are better pickaxes, like the solar pickaxe and all that kind of stuff. You know, the, the Moon Lord endgame pickaxes. Those are pretty damn good. Extra range as well as just insanely, insanely quick mining power. It's just incredible. All right, so let's just keep ourselves going. I should be able to do this all on camera. I mean, come on. It's all around it. <laughs> uh, 156. A little bit more over here. Okay, a little bit more down here, and a tiny bit here, and then maybe this bit here, and then a tiny bit over here as well, and I think this might just about do it. Yep, there we go, 202. Wow, that barely took any time at all, dudes. That's crazy. <laughs> nice. Uh, right, we need a Hellforge to make health so buzz, don't we? All right, so we're going to need to head back to the tree base again, just so we can get them crafted. Let's do it. And here we go, folks. Time to craft a heck ton of these things. Uh, 67. Okay. Well, that actually brings us up to 69. Holy crap. That's a, that's a lot of bars, isn't it? <laughs> Alright, so let's put you all away. I only need 40 of these, so the rest of them can go in there. And then the rest of them can reside in my piggy bank, rather like the rest of the bars do. And yeah, all we need to do now, folks, is take down the Moon Lord once, maybe twice more. I have actually got no idea how much ore you can actually get from the moon or it might be worth me going ahead and researching that real quick actually so i'll tell you what, i'm going to do exactly that i'm going to do a quick research on the terraria wiki just to see uh, how much uh the illuminate or the moon lord can drop in expert mode and you know we'll get on with another moon lord fight let's get it done folks Alrighty, guys so i've done a little bit of research and it turns out we are definitely going to need to take down the moon lord twice more in order to do this thing properly so yeah i mean there's no worries about that the maximum amount of luminite the guy will drop on expert mode is 110 ore you need four ores per bar so uh divvy up 110 by 4, and it's going to give you, what, 20, what, 26, 27 bars maximum? I mean, that's pretty cool nonetheless. I mean, come on, it's not something to be sniffed at, right? That's pretty awesome. All right, so we got ourselves a solar eruption. Things are looking good. The nurse is down there, which is always good to see. And yeah, here we go, folks. We're gonna go ahead. I'm gonna I'm gonna time lapse this one, okay? Because you saw me do the Moonlord fight in the last episode, and we're doing it pretty much the same way we did in the last episode. So yeah, let's just time lapse this. Let's get it done, folks. Folks, Moon Lord number two of the series is out of the game. Okay. Nice one, man. I will take that and I'll roll with it. And there was a wyvern flying around during that fight as well. Obviously, he didn't he had to he had to come in on the party as well. I mean, come on, it's a freaking wyvern. They they like to party, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Oh, there we go, folks. All right, so here we go. Let's just open it straight away. It is going to be... Wow, that's quite a lot of Luminite. Jesus Christ. Uh, Lunar Portal Staff. Which one's this one? Ooh. Ooh. Wow. That's kind of badass. I like that. So wait, does it... So what? Is it like a sentry-style thing? Because if so, this might actually be kind of useful against Moon Lord. Ah. Huh. That's actually kind of nice. I mean, I'll take that any day. I'll roll with it. Huh. Nice. And another suspicious looking tentacle. Don't really need it. 10 gold. Don't need this. Don't need the second portal gun. Just don't need it. So I'm just going to chuck it away. Uh, all right. And we can make ourselves some more of these bad boys. Uh, 27 gives us 34. Okay. So we're going to need to take down all of the pillars again. Yeah. We're going to need to do that either way. I mean, if we want to get ourselves solar armor forward slash the uh, drug containment unit, we're going to need to take down the pillars again. So, well... You know what they say, we might as well just get to it. All right, let's do it, folks. Really? 
Solar Eclipse! And we still don't have a freaking enchanted sundial on this goddamn world. Oh man. Why does Terraria do this to me, man? Hmm. I don't know, man. There comes a point where the solar eclipse is just a pain in the ass. When it first happens, it's just like, oh my god, this is amazing. We can maybe get the Eye of Cthulhu yo-yo and really make some progression in terms of late hard mode. But uh, later on in hard mode, it just becomes... Oh, for God's sake, why, why, why you do this? Why you do this? Hey, brother. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm really not sorry, in fact, at all. You can get wrecked. There you go. Sweet. And now we've got this freaking moron to take out the game. Alright, here we go. I'm going to go ahead and uh, get, like, way up in the air. Because then it will just be the cultists we're going against, right? So, yeah. Okay. That sounds like a good idea, doesn't it? Sweet! Let's do it! And get shredded there, brother! Nice one. Alright, so, celestial creatures are invading! Dun, dun, dun! Oh, Jesus! We are getting straight into the thick of it here, folks. We've got the solar pillar... Oh, 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 no, 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 Straight into the thick of it. We've got the freaking solar pillar already, bros. Oh, no, no. I'll tell you what, the solar eruption sure is going to make this easier, though, in terms of taking out the kites, especially when they're in the ground. It's going to make it so much easier. Huh. Okay, cool. <laughs> nice. Oh, my God, the solar eruption is, is, is my baby, dude. It's my baby. I love it. I love the fact it goes through the freaking ground and does, like, 25 damage over time. Many times over as well. Ha! Uh, ha! Uh, too many kites! Oh, jeez, bro! Oh, gotta get out of here! Okie dokie! These guys wanna kill my butt! I do. No, uh, no, 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 no! Kites, please! Kites, please! Alright, kites! That, that, that! God dang it! Oh, I'm out of here, bro! I'm out of here! I'm out of here! Oh, I gotta be quick about this, dude! Okay, where is he? Oh, he's right there! Okay, good! Uh, don't you dare kill me, Cruelty Pete! I know what you're like! Alright, we're gonna do the whole, you know, dip in and out of this. Uh, dip in and out of this freaking thing. Alright, and. Alright, so that's where it becomes normal again. Oh, hello. What are you doing? What are you doing? Why you do this? Why you do this? Come on, come on, bro. Oh, God, I know we got these freaking jerk bags. What the. Hey, hey, no, I ain't getting killed by a freaking solo eclipse, bro. Get out of here, dude. I'm not even. I don't even care about the drops, bro. There's no point. There's no point in this invasion. <laughs> Why? Why, Terraria? Why? Yeah! Vortex Pillar! Your time has come, buddy. I'm sorry. You're not surviving that much longer there, brother. <laughs> I haven't died a single time to this pillar. I'm actually kind of surprised. The solar eruption sure is doing the job. He's doing it very nicely. <laughs> awesome. So one other thing I researched is the fact you can get, get this, up to 90 fragments okay you could get up to 90 of any of the celestial fragments in expert mode from the pillars it's just ridiculous it really is ah okay still these guys on the floor god will you please for real get out of here oh, hey, you, you that you that i don't know i don't know what you think you're doing but you could get out of here <laughs> oh dear. all right let's continue on folks stardust pillar meet the stars in other words heaven Although I don't know whether these guys would want to go to heaven or not because uh, all they do is kill me. So I'm not entirely sure that heaven is entirely appropriate for them. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> oh dear. All right, how many are we going to get this time? 45. 60. 60. Wow. Nice. Like I said, the maximum amount you can get is 90. The minimum amount you can get is 18. Even on expert mode, the minimum is 18. Which is quite a crazy low amount for expert mode. Really, what it should be is like something like 40 to 90, not 18 to 90. That's crazy. But anyways, let's keep going, my folks. We have ourselves the solar pillar next, the hardest one. Let's get to it. And solar pillar is down, and so am I almost. Holy crap. Stop! Okay. Uh, one more hit and we're dead. Ooh. Okay, can we, can we actually do this? Can we actually, like, survive this? Is that something we'll be able to do? Hmm. Hey there, buddy. I see you up there. Uh, right. I, I think, I think we're good. Yeah, it seems like we're good. All right, let's go and get these things. 38. Come on, man. I'm getting some pretty abysmal amounts of, uh, fragments here. Psycho knife? I don't even know, man. <laughs> uh, what is even the point? Okay, so we've got a bunch of style of fragments. Now, we could go and make ourselves solar armor, or we could continue on our track to get in the drill containment unit. 
Do you know what? I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna stick on track with the drug containment unit. We'll do one objective at a time. Next episode, we'll probably focus on getting some solar armor. Okay, how does that sound? I feel like that sounds pretty reasonable. So yeah, all right. So we've only got the nebula pillar to take down now. So let's go and get on with it. Oh, now you're selling the co to on the wrong playthrough. Oh. <laughs> That's moderately annoying. All right, damage per second. Oh, we've already got that. Okay, so there's no need for anything here. We've even got a katana here. We've got a cape. Already got the cape. Don't need it. Anyways, I'm here because I'm looking for some sort of accessory that could replace the lightning boots because I just don't think we need this when taking down the moon lord. We could probably use that slot for something a bit more worthy. Yeah. First reforge. Warding. <laughs> well, I'll take it. Cheers, buddy. Hey! we go finally i tell you what next to the solar pillar this one is the most pain in the ass one and i've got to tell you the reason why is because of the nebula floaters they are such a pain they're such a these guys who keep tp'ing around and shooting the goddamn lasers at me do me a favor and bugger off no one likes you at all let's go to freaking base oh so irked right now dude for real dude I really hate those flipping guys. <laughs> They're such a pain. You're kidding me, right? Do you know what? I'm not giving up. We've got enough fragments. We're going to do another one. I'm not ending on a fail. No way. I'm, I'm feeling salty. I need I need this redemption. I need it. Otherwise, my day would have felt really unfulfilled. And here we go, folks. Finally. There we go. i got to tell you guys, farming out pillars in expert mode. Uh, don't even get me started on the amount of things that uh, I find annoying about it. But uh, anyways, we managed to do it, whatever the case may be. And uh, we got ourselves a heck ton more stuff. We got ourselves a mythical lunar pool stuff this time. Ooh, very nice. Okay, sweet. All right, so now, ladies and gentlemen, we should now be able to do this thing. So let's get ourselves some more luminite bars. Okay, and then all we need to do is uh, get the rest of our stuff out. I have no idea where this thing is actually crafted. I think it might be at this anvil right here. So if I just grab out my piggy bank and do this, ladies and gentlemen... There it is. The drill containment unit. The drill containment unit in all of its glory. There it is. We finally got it. And next episode, we're going to be doing a heck of a load of terraforming, folks. A lot of world gen altering stuffs. <laughs> oh man, I love this thing. Anyways, guys, on that note, time to win. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, and of course, you're excited to see more, do of course be sure to drop a like rating. I'll be super appreciated. And of course, you can subscribe if you want to know when the future videos are out. But thanks for watching, folks. Your support, as always, has been super, super appreciated. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.